AWS, $35 billion through 2040, multiple data center campus sites. Uh, this is a significant deal for your state. This is big. And uh, $35 billion financial commitments, the largest ever made to the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, our partnership with AWS started back in 2006 and has only grown. Uh, you know, Virginia is the largest market for data centers in the world. And what's most exciting about this is the long-term nature of this commitment. Not only is it $35 billion, uh, but they're going, they're going to expand their footprint uh, across the Commonwealth of Virginia. It's going to bring the benefits that come with these jobs, the, the, the multiplier effect that with these jobs to the ecosystem that's created, the over 100 uh, businesses that will support the construction of these data centers to localities uh, outside of Northern Virginia directly. And that's great for the Commonwealth of Virginia to see it expand uh, our footprint in data centers and maintain our market leading position. AWS saying a thousand new jobs created directly from this. What I find fascinating, Governor, is if you look at the history of the state's relationship with AWS, as you say, I think between 2011 and 2020, they'd already invested 35 billion into your state. And yet incentives uh, through the, the form of grants and tax exemptions are still at play here. Was this a difficult negotiation? But there's, there's a, a negotiation. It's never difficult or, or, or easy. There's just a negotiation to represent the taxpayers of Virginia adequately and appropriately. That's my job. And I think, I think we have sh struck a very good deal. Um, I think that the Virginia will benefit mightily. You know, the, the ecosystems that develop around the data center infrastructure uh, are enormous. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of jobs that will be that will be created in addition to the direct jobs for AWS. Uh, there are contractors and and supportive companies um, that will that will uh, be developed in order to support the construction, but the operation. Uh, and this will add to the locality substantial funding uh, for schools and services and infrastructure. Uh, this is this is really important to the long term economic development of the Commonwealth. Uh, it's big, as I said. But on top of that, it continues Virginia's leading position in this industry of the future. And it's one that we continue to want to not only lead in, but expand our lead in. Governor, are there any dollar figures you can put uh, behind the, the dollar benefit to the state? Uh, from this, you know, you talk about the, the funding that will funnel through to schools. I guess, in some sense, though, Virginia does forego some tax revenue uh, by offering those exemptions. C kind of, how have you weighed and balanced that out? You know, well, we of course offer in incentives uh, in the in the construction and investment in data centers uh, and to create jobs. Uh, but as you can imagine, given my background. Uh, the net present value of that calculation is positive for Virginia, and it's one that will underpin uh, this kind of investment in schools and localities, infrastructure and services. It's one that will see the ripple effect of not just the thousand jobs, um, but the multiplier of jobs that comes with them. I mean, just in 2020, uh, Amazon Web Services uh, data center businesses supported 13,000 jobs outside of their direct employment in Virginia. And uh, this, is, this is the kind of ecosystem that benefits us for a long time and continues to put us at the forefront of the next wave of high paying technology jobs in the Commonwealth. Governor, Virginia offers, uh, I guess, a few benefits, space being one, uh, existing infrastructure, but energy also a really key component here in terms of what you can offer to power these data hungry data centers. I, I do have to ask though, it, it, this is a week where Amazon, the parent company, started a round of layoffs, 18,000 job cuts. M my understanding is that there were some uh, staff impacted in the state of Virginia. Was that part of your discussion with the company or of any concern to you? Well, of course, any any layoffs are, are going to be of concern to me uh, anywhere. And uh, our relationship with Amazon is is extensive and uh, they continue to invest and grow in Virginia. Uh, what I do know is 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 that their web services division continues to expand. 
And that expansion is adding high paying jobs. That expansion is supporting uh, the infrastructure and ecosystem uh, that benefits uh, communities across Virginia in the future. Uh, I know that Amazon's got to make decisions that are consistent with their overall corporate goals. Amazon Web Service is clearly growing uh, by the demonstration of a $35 billion financial commitment and 1,000 jobs. Governor, this, this is clearly a win for you and a, and a win for the state. I, I found the timing really interesting, uh, given recent reports and discussions around other opportunities that came to Virginia. My understanding is that the state rejected or did not proceed with an opportunity for Ford to build a battery uh, plant in your state, partly out of concern for Ford's relationship with CATL, a Chinese manufacturer uh, of battery cells. What data did you have at your disposal uh, in, in considering that offer and that option, and why ultimately did you reject it? Well, to be clear, it wasn't partly due to concerns. It was wholly due to concerns of the relationship with uh, Cattle or CATL, uh, which is a company that is highly influenced uh, by the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, and in fact, when Speaker Pelosi went to Taiwan, uh, cattle uh, suspended progress on investments in the United States. I mean, they are influenced, if not controlled, by the Chinese Communist Party. And the structure that was being used uh, where the, the Chinese, Chinese Communist Party would, in fact, uh, have full operation control over the technology was one that was wholly inconsistent with the incentives that had been put in place by the federal government uh, in the F Inflation Reduction Act in order to promote a, a U.S. supply chain for electric vehicles and specifically precluded the Chinese Communist Party affiliated companies from participating in that. Um, yes. And so I've, I felt that this was absolutely the, a, a wrong step to enable in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So we didn't, we didn't move forward in submitting a proposal. Uh, that was a decision that I felt was appropriate, particularly that we have other interest in the site. And uh, I'd much rather have a, a, a good, clean deal than one that's embroiled in controversy and one that is going to promote the Chinese Communist Party. It's not something consistent with Virginia values or American values. Uh, we have a great site in, uh, in that yes. part of Virginia, and I look forward to bringing a great company there. Uh, but it, yep. it, won't, it, won't be one that, it won't be one that uses uh, a, a kind of a Trojan horse relationship with the Chinese Communist Party in order, in order to gain. Governor, I think about the parallels with that opportunity in this AWS deal through 2040. You know, AWS saying a thousand new jobs would be created. And in the example of a potential Ford uh, battery facility, you know, there were various media reports, but some say 2,500 jobs could have possibly been created. What do you say to your constituents in the towns where these potential sites for a battery plant could have been located who say, you know, we would have liked to have had those jobs. You know, is there a, is a, a basically hawkishness on China, you know, worth the missed opportunity that those jobs could have created for some of your constituents? Well, so let me just be clear that, that this is not a zero sum game. And in fact, I would have loved to have had Ford uh, come to Virginia and build a battery plant if they were not using it as a, a, as a front for a company that's controlled by the Chinese uh, Communist Party. And in fact, if they had had some of their other battery suppliers that they use, uh, that, would have been a, that would have been a relationship I would have absolutely loved to have. And, and again, this is not a zero sum game. There, there is lots of interest in that site and, and to have that site embroiled in what would have been clearly a deal that contravened the intent and purpose of the Inflation Reduction Act incentives, which is why it was being structured the way it was, could have taken that site offline for an extended period of time, and we have other companies that are interested in it. This, this, was, a, this was a very straightforward decision that is best for uh, that region of Virginia to create jobs that provide opportunities to, to all Virginians. And I look forward to continuing to do that. We have seen we have seen now 90,000 jobs uh, in Virginia that were not filled when I took office. We went from being 47th in, in job recovery coming out of the pandemic to top 20. And top 20 is not good enough for me. And that's why we're pressing so hard 
in order to have another round of tax cuts in Virginia, to lower the individual rates and the corporate rates, to bring the cost of living down, to make sure that we're streamlining regulations so that companies who come here can be permitted quickly and get to work, to make sure we're investing in our mega sites so they're ready when a, when a great company chooses to come here so that we can have them up and running more quickly and that we're investing in what will be the best talent development state in the nation with, with uh, a drive towards every student graduating with a credential so they can go right to work or go to one of our top tier universities and be ready to go work for these great companies. Virginia's competing, yep. Virginia's winning, and I just look forward to more announcements like the one we have today. Governor, we're covering so many of the themes that states across the country are vying for, right? They're debating, but they're also trying to win. I mean, final question from me on the Ford topic, and we'll get back to AWS. Was this a situation where you, the state, or you, the governor, went to Ford and CATL and said, consider us, but then when you looked at it, you changed course, or did they approach you? So the, the ins and outs of economic development uh, are things that I can't comment on directly uh, because of confidentiality agreements and, and those, those types of arrangements. What I can say is that that Virginia, because of Virginia's attractiveness, we are the, we are the northernmost right-to-work state. We have a tremendous workforce. We do, have, we do have sites that are ready, like the one we're talking about in Southside Virginia. Uh, we have a tremendous business environment that we are making even better by competing to win by bringing down taxes. So most big projects take a hard look at coming to Virginia because it's one of the top places to domicile. That's, that's why Lego came here last year is because we, are, we have the opportunity to provide a great business environment. But we are seeing states around us compete. And I'm watching North Carolina and Tennessee and South Carolina and Georgia, Florida, Texas compete. And they have had, they have had great wins. And so we want to make sure that we're continuing to drive forward our efforts to be the most competitive state in America for business growth. And, and that's my charge. And I, I intend on delivering on it. Hey, Governor, you and I don't know where we'll be probably in 2040, but try and take me there, particularly around HQ2 and Amazon. What does the state look like as a center of technology, a center of employment by that target date? Well, I, I expect that the, the, the fast, fast momentum that we already are seeing uh, around not just HQ2 and Amazon, but with this huge investment from AWS and data centers and all of the other data center operators that want to come to Virginia, all that does is further our lead in computer science and software development. Uh, and it is all coming to Virginia. We have uh, great aspirations around our innovation campus in Northern Virginia to expand the largest number of computer science graduates and, the, and PhDs to make sure that our university system across the Commonwealth is focusing on STEM, but also bringing it down into K through 12 education. And our efforts in lab schools and dual enrollment cooperation with our community colleges will make Virginia the absolute leader in talent development in the nation and talent development in both these, these, high, these high paying uh, jobs of the future, but also all of the capabilities necessary to build it and operate it and support it. Uh, this yes. is an exciting time for the Commonwealth. We are on the move. This, this announcement today from AWS is big.